Okay, welcome back to the big one zero video 10. How fast they do go by. Uh, today we're going to talk about the add modify report form. It should be a really short video because this is pretty simple data binding. Um, we've talked about the controls and stuff like that already. If you've jumped in and you heard me say video 10, you're like, oh my gosh, what? Uh, just click on that Texas Lakehouse channel link and there is a playlist called Building a Real World application using Entity Framework 6. Uh, just click on that, take you to video 1 and watch them all the way through. We do ask that you subscribe please. Uh, it does help out the channel, helps us to keep the continued providing these videos and uh, you get a lot of good content. That's the feedback we're getting so we really appreciate that. Okay let's dive right into it. All the add modify report is the Windows, or it's the Windows form. It's not a user control like we've been doing. It's a full-blown form um, we see it in two cases. If I start without debugging here, you'll notice that when I start without debugging, I've got lazy coder syndrome and I left it in here for you guys. The uh, login and password's filled in, so you can just hit login. And then the main form comes up, and you can see people, and we can see their reports for the week. Now, there's a few ways we can get to it. We can either double click one of the windows in that control one of the reports listed and it will fill it in and we can do some kind of test edit I'll type in test edit and I'll save and close and it will save and close it and if I double click and bring it back up we can see that yes our saves did our save did take and the other way we can get to it is we can go to reports file report and that will bring up the form as in we wanted to do a new report for today um, pretty easy stuff. Now, cancel will obviously take you out of it. So that's a pretty simple form. The way we did it was we have a uh, data source combined to into our project. And if we look, what I've done is, as I turn so I can get a better view, we have a business object reference to each of our data transfer objects so that now that the compiler recognizes them as data sources and we can actually click on them and change how they're viewed details view uh, data grid views and things like that now mine you'll see defaults to dev express yours is going to look a little bit different probably has something like a data grid uh, I have dev express 13.2 which is an amazing product a shout out to them dev express.com uh, their controls and everything they make is just awesome so if you don't have them, get them, because you're wasting a lot of time writing things that you can get for uh, a tool suite. Uh, so you can switch it in here and go to Details View and go through and do. And that's what I did, is I drug it on here and then just rearranged all the boxes it put on the form and ended up with this form. And so when you have an object, in this case one of our report entry objects, we simply set the data source in the properties for this object right here we set the data source for the report entry DTO binding source to that object so it's pretty simple if we look at the code behind we've got a single property well actually two properties my apology remember everything we've got a person and a report entry these are just pointers to whatever object we're gonna send them um, and they're private and when you add modify report we're gonna send it uh, the data we want to modify one of the constructors okay could be a new report or it could be as in the case where we double click the uh, if you remember the control that we double clicked to bring the report up its event sent a report entry data transfer object as a parameter out in the event and we just pass that object right into this form so it works out really really convenient so that's what we do. Um, and then there's not much else to do. Uh, when it comes up, we obviously set the current report to the data report and the binding source to that, the current report. And then we reset the current item. And that what that does is causes the uh, binding uh, navigator, if you will, the binding context to refresh the screen in essence and then we get the person 
by the person ID that this belongs to. And you say, well, Dean, why would we do that? Well, we have the report entry. What if it's new? We don't know anything about the person. We don't. So it doesn't really hurt to go out there and get the person. It doesn't cost a lot and because we're using Entity Framework to go out there and get a single person entity. So just reach out there and grab it. And now we got the person and we got the current report that we're adding to the person because remember our person object in the uh, business object layer is expecting a person back because we're doing everything like we should, parents and children. So we're not referencing the child, the report entry object, entity object, by itself. You're not going to say report entity dot save and save it off. Why? Because it's a child. You shouldn't do that. You should go through the person object to do that because it belongs to a person. And you'll see when we save that, that's exactly what we do is we do person parent object equals person dot save person and we send it. So no big deal. Easy to do. Easy to do. I'm looking to see if there's anything else really to show you guys. Um, in the get person event, how do we associate this report with the person? Well, we go out there and we get the person object first here, okay? And then the report that you sent us to show the form, we add it to the reports collection of that person, current report. Now, the middleware, if you'll remember when we wrote the middleware object, it's save event, it looks at the ID of the uh, current report object and if the ID of the current report object is less than zero it knows what it knows that that current report is a new report so it will save it update its primary key handle the uh, referential integrity do all kinds of things for us uh, that we don't have to worry about so you can kind of see how the design's really simple I mean here we've got a, a a form that actually does something pretty complex where it adds a report entry for a person. It has a lot of responsibilities. But there's only, you know, 40 lines, 30 lines or less of code, including the parent object code. And that's try and catches and message box showing and all of that. So there's not a lot to it. Um, you know, when we hit cancel, obviously we just close. Save and new is interesting because save and close, we're going to save it and close the form. Save and new, we're going to save it. And then uh, we're going to uh, create a new object and just rebind it to the form. Now, it's important to remember that anytime you create a new object, what's required? And it's the parent ID. It's the uh, last updated by and last updated date. So make sure you set those. Okay? Parent ID, last updated by, and last updated date. So hopefully this video helps you out. Uh, it is short. There's not much to it. That's the add modify report. I do reserve the right to make modifications to it because I may look at it and go, eh, I want to try something different. Um, I've thought about adding a grid or something to the top of it. But uh, for all intents and purposes, I think it does what it needs to do. The tab order's right. It's really fast to go through here and do what you need to do. Um, so I welcome the feedback. Uh, I want to say special thank you to everyone that have feedback given me feedback it's been tremendous i mean the response to these videos has been great thank you so much uh, we're going to keep going we are literally the end is in sight um, we're getting down to just a handful of videos left uh, if you want to see a feature in this that we haven't covered or you want to have some input on its design shoot them over i might incorporate them uh, i do like to keep it interactive so leave comments leave likes and this look up there on the screen right now i've got the subscribe button showing go ahead and click it subscribe to the channel do us all a favor help out the channel and uh, we'll keep pumping these videos out so as always thank you for your time thank you for your attention and thanks for stopping by see you next time